You're very welcome back. Now, about very few of you know, but Laura and I are almost semi-professional rugby players. Mm -hmm, we are almost. So with the day that's in <laughs> it, we thought that we'd bring you behind the scenes at one of our very regular rugby matches. So we hung out with the very patient players at Belvedere Rugby Club in Dublin. <laughs> Rugby, where pride meets passion. With those inspirational words ringing in our ears, Anna and I decided to take a trip to Belvedere Rugby Club in Dublin to join the women's rugby team for an evening session. It's Six Nations time again, which means there's a massive interest in rugby for both men and women. But it's particularly special for Irish women's rugby this year. Why is that, Nora? Um, this year we're actually celebrating 25 years since our first official test game. So in 1993, a group got together and they formed the Irish women's rugby team and they went over and played Scotland in the first ever game. How has rugby progressed in the last 25 years? Oh, God, and massively, and even in the last 10 years, even more so. You know, we've won Grand Slams, we've played in World Cups, we've beaten the All Blacks, um, we've hosted a World Cup here in Ireland. The numbers are growing, you know, nice and steadily as well, and now we've even got younger girls playing. So it used to be maybe a game for adults, but now we're seeing so many teenage girls coming through. And more importantly, we've got eight, nine, ten-year-old girls who are picking up a rugby ball and just absolutely loving it. The Irish women's rugby team won the Grand Slam, of course, in 2013, and last year you came so close. So with this in mind, we want to win, we want to continue to win, we want to create role models and sports heroes for the girls around this country. How do we do that? You know, everybody around the provinces, they are in full-time programs in relation to s and C, um, and everybody knows the extra little bits that they have to do in order to, to stay up there and compete with the likes of England and France. Um, in saying that, we did excellent last year, you know, it came down to the last match of the season. Um, we, we fell away to England in that game, which was unfortunate, but I think for a small nation of small pool of players, we're definitely not considered um, a lesser nation than any of the, the other ones that might have more playing numbers than us. So now it's about looking at, well, how do we work with the girls coming through? How do we put structures in place so that whatever level a player can reach their potential but more importantly that those that as you mentioned the role models they're looking at the role models they can see what they can aspire to be um, and they are feeling inspired and it's just great to see players wanting to to go all the way to put on the Irish jersey. Eilish we are here braving the weather at Belvedere Rugby Club. What's happening here tonight? We have uh, the women's rugby team uh, training. So we have two teams, our first team and our seconds team. Um, and I'm hoping that you'll be joining our seconds team later on. There's lots of different levels going on here, isn't there? Which I'm really pleased to see, actually. Yeah, so our first team would have our internationals, our interprovincial players. And then the seconds team, who I coach, would have a range of people who played for years. Um, to beginners, we had a few people only join us last, last week. And what I didn't realise is that anyone can drop in and join. Yeah, absolutely anybody. Um, we have people coming from all over the world, from you know people who've just moved up to Dublin, from you know Cork, Galway. So we have all sorts coming down. So beginners always welcome. I would have thought, Eilish, that rugby of all sports, particularly for women, was a tough sport, and maybe for the really super fit or the super strong, not necessarily the case. No, not at all. I mean, a lot of people come down here to, you know, work on their fitness. Um, and it's got such a good social vibe, a family vibe, and that's why people want to join. You know, a bit of fitness, a bit of crack, and, you know, it's there every week. It's I've had great fun in the dressing room already, <laughs> before we've even come out here. So there is that sense of, of community, I suppose, and, and a real family feel about it. Yeah, and I mean, that's why, you know, I, I've transitioned to becoming a coach because I want to stay involved and I want to stay part of the club. And we can't turn up here tonight without getting stuck in. So you're going to put us through our paces, coach. Absolutely. And um, so come on, let's go. After a brief introduction to the rest of the team, we then learned how to tackle safely. And fall safely. Before joining the forwards for a scrum. I've been playing for six years with Belvedere. Um, we have our AIL team who play in the top division in Ireland and our J1 team who play in the top division in Leinster. Great bunch of girls and uh, really good crack and very competitive rugby. Okay. I'm actually going away with uh, some of the girls on a rugby trip uh, soon so that we can uh, organise events just outside rugby as well. 
I was working in UCD during the, the Women's World Cup and um, just someone asked me if I played and I didn't and I said, said I might think about it and then a couple of months later I joined here because there's such good, well partly at least the girls seemed like good crack and there was also like such good international representation from Old Belvedere and the team so it was really an easy choice for me but it's great, I love it so far. We do get people from all over and from all different backgrounds, all different sporting backgrounds and not. I, I mean, I'm 24 and I just joined in September, so you can join at any age, at any stage. We may not get the call to don the green jersey anytime soon, but it was great fun and a great workout too. If you'd like more information, you can check out www.irishrugby.ie. <laughs> Well, fair are, play, fair play. You impressed? Very impressed. Are you really? Very, yeah, genuinely not See, easy to so do. we are so used to being pushed out of our comfort zone, Laura, mm -hmm. and coming back, and these pair are laughing at, at us. No. Oh, we, the first time. Don't get me wrong, I'm laughing inside. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, you absolutely. still laughed. I thought but, it was hilarious, you know. but fair play to you. But you know, I think the girls uh, who were teaching us were very patient because we literally didn't have a clue. And what shocked me and some of the players had only been playing with that team mm. for a few months really? was yeah. the pace. It was so quick, it was so fast. Yeah, but they're fit, fit, fit. Yeah. They? I know they are, Super but fit. I mean, you're looking for the ball and it's gone. I mean, Anna and I were, were running they're one way and everyone incredible. else was running the other way. Yeah. Really when you go back, did, did really you nice. Do you get know the who balls I met? for it? Sophie Spence. Oh, really? Who we interviewed really? a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Cool. She was there. We had a friend. We had a friend. I walked into the Belfast Rugby Club yeah. and I know you. Oh, yeah. I just, oh, my no, they're really, really cool Irish girls. teammates there. Nora Stapleton was the one who was helping course, us out yeah. as well. And her colleagues, Maz and was there. Yeah. So there was loads of amazing oh, women there. Grand and Slam winners with the team. Anna said like, there was a real sense of camaraderie and friendship yeah. there, which is lovely. That's one of the big reasons why women yeah. join up and why they want you know, women to join up because there's so a great social life. Well, we can't. Uh, you there can't. are matches on Sunday yeah. morning. Oh, Otherwise, we will be. Yeah. And of course, the best look to the Irish team in the Six Nations, the ladies. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. You'll be getting the campaign ahead for them. Best of luck. Still to come, we're taking on a rodeo rugby ball, as you do on a Saturday morning. And I'll be catching up with Ireland's Got Talent front woman, Lucy Kennedy. We have a tart tatan in the kitchen. Excuse me. <laughs> and we've more styles for him and her if you're hitting the Aviva over the next few weeks. See you soon. Right.